going on YouTube? This your boy Lazarian. Please comment, like, and subscribe on the video. I thank you guys for being there for me. You know, all the guys who support my channel and all the people who support my channel. Um, like I said, I thank you um, for the great love. Uh, shout out to Oliver DP, my guy Junior the Truth, my guy Bone AD, and the new sub Ashley, Gamer Girl, Princess Pounder, and my guy Dom. Shout out to you. Shout out to all you lovely um, uh, subs. Let's get right into the video. Uh, the Phoenix Suns this week had bought out Tyson Chandler. Now Tyson Chandler is joining the LA Lakers. Uh, I think it's a good pickup for LA, a veteran presence, someone who can rebound. Who can play defense? Who can protect the rim? Tyson Chandler is a champion. He's an NBA champion. Um, he uh, grab rebounds consistently. He can stay in front of his guy. He is a physical presence in the paint. Um, I like this move by the LA Lakers getting a veteran presence in Tyson Chandler. Uh, so uh, the Lakers are doing bad right now. I think their record is four and six right now. The young, they're not communicating on defense. Uh, LeBron James' defense has been disappointing. Uh, Kyle Kuzma still averaging 20. Um, and some questions about uh, Luke Walton's job. job should be on the line. And like I say, Magic Johnson, just say Magic Johnson is not happy right now with this team performing. Brand, performance, Brandon Ingram has not been playing so good. Um, KCP has been stinking up the whole Staples Center. Uh, he should, his ass should be on the bench. I love Josh Hart and Kyle Kuzma. I think those two guys are the future of the LA Lakers. Lonzo Ball can't make a goddamn jump shot, but he's he's been making. He made a couple the other night against Toronto. But like I say, adding Tyson Chandler, someone that's a champion that uh, beat LeBron in the uh, NBA Finals when he was with Dallas. Someone that can protect the rim, that can grab rebounds, that's physical. That can uh some that can uh that you can throw alleys up to and dunk and he can put back in dunks and stuff. I think that's a good move for the uh, L.A. Lakers. Uh, so I like that deal by the L.A. Lakers getting uh Tyson Chandler. So like I say, um, it's a good move by the L.A. Lakers and the L.A. Lakers. I told everybody on my season preview when I made that video. The Lakers are going to start struggling at the beginning of the season. They're going to start struggling. They're going to uh, end up finding themselves in the middle part of the season and start ending up uh, making, getting hot and making the playoffs. When LeBron going through adversity, LeBron's always seen to step up, and I think he still will. They got an easy schedule coming up these last games. They got Minnesota coming in. Um, but like I say, uh, Minnesota, Minnesota has been bad too. They, Jimmy Butler trying to get the hell up out of there. Uh, he's trying to get traded. Uh, I think the Timberwolves will end up doing it. Uh, Jimmy Butler came out and said, "I play when I want to play and however I want to play." And you got to move on for Jimmy Butler. Tom Thibodeau doesn't want to get fired and stuff like that. So it's just a matter. And he's still balling. Jimmy Butler still averaging. 25 points a game. He's still balling, so he's not letting it affect him. But he's also not trying to get hurt because he knows he's going to get traded. He also is trying to protect himself. So, like I say, it's a mess going on in Minnesota. And also, Russell Westbrook has sprung his ankle last night real bad. He turned his ankle uh, all like all the way over against New Orleans in a win against New Orleans. Uh, the Oklahoma City had won by like five straight games. Um my Rockets play OKC next on Thursday, so it'll be interesting. But you know Russell Westbrook is going to be out sometime with that ankle. I heard it's an ankle sprain. So ankle sprain. So um, OKC has been hot. OKC, like I say, they got a guys that they got guys that's long. Jeremy Grant can play defense. Uh, Stephen Adams, who's a monster in the paint, who gets rebounds, who's hustle. Uh, like I say, if if this team was going to keep this team in the playoffs. In the playoff hunt is their defense. They don't have anybody that can really shoot. Paul George and Alice Abrinas is their only shooters on the uh, court. On the court, but Jeremy Grant, when Robinson comes back, Hamadou Diallo has been playing great right now. So hey, this team is a, a fifth seed. I still got them in fifth right now. But hey, this team could be dangerous because they can play defense. Their defense will keep them in the game. But 
like I say, um, there's a lot of things going wrong in the NBA. It's a lot of teams you expect to uh, be up there in the standings, like the Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards are a fraud. They uh, are a joke. They are an uh, embarrassing team to watch. Um, they play Dallas tonight. Uh, I just don't like the way this Washington team look. I got them in the sixth seed, but if this keep this struggling keep going on by the All Star break, I got a feeling that John Wall or Bradley Beal, one of those guards, who is going to be up out of there. The White Howard doesn't change anything, like everybody say. The Wizards, the White Howard changes anything. No, he does not. He does not change anything. He's a locker room cancer, and when the White Howard's not winning, he's not happy. He always calling out a player or a coach. I mean, I just don't like Dwight Howard as a person. I like him as a player. I think he's still good as a player. But as a person, as a counselor in a locker room, I can't accept that out of Dwight Howard. I can't accept Dwight Howard like that. So, like I say, uh, Tyson Chandler uh, picked up by the L.A. Lakers. I think it's a good deal. I think uh, I think it's good for the Lakers to pick him up, pick someone that can rebound. Uh, block shots that can uh, give brain energy to this team and new life. And Jimmy Butler, look out. I think a trade is going to happen soon than what everybody thinks. So just look out for Jimmy Butler being traded, um, probably to Houston. Uh, just look out. I heard rumors on my uh, Tiki TV. I uh, shot a screenshot on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, he gives out good facts uh, and stuff like that. So, But I don't know. We don't know. But the Rockets winning three straight. Um I'm not going to say this rock. My Rockets is back right now. I'm not going to say that. But we've been more defensive oriented uh, this year than a lot. So, like, please come. Let me know what you guys think about the Lakers picking up Tyson Chandler and Russell Westbrook uh, out with a sprained ankle. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And should Luke, Lakers fans, should Luke Wall be fired or not? Should Magic Johnson uh, fire Luke Wall or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, guys. I am out. Peace.